you guys. I have missed you so, so, so much. I was like cut off from the world <laughs> during our little, you know, surprise tornado storm <laughs> here on the Gold Coast in Australia, which is on the east, east side <laughs> of the country. The other west. Yes. Um, but we do, we do get around this time of year, there are... You know, this is when the fires happen and the flooding and stuff like that. So it's a very um, precarious um, situation this time of year in terms of the weather. Um, but I just want to thank you uh, all for your well wishes and thank you for keeping us in your thoughts and prayers. And um, to every one of you, a virtual hug. Chris, come over. <laughs> See, just imagine this is yourself. I always get, get in on that action. <laughs> and thank you from me, everybody. Your messages were, they came at just exactly the right time. It's been pretty, pretty weird here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're alive, we're kicking. Yeah, we, we still have people who um, don't have any power. We were just one of the lucky suburbs to get um, power first, to get prioritized. Well, last but first. <laughs> Well, yeah, we weren't exactly first. We were like 10th. <laughs> but it's still good, right? Um, we were, yeah. And um, some people have lost their lives. I think 12 people passed away. And um, some people don't have a house anymore. It's been completely flattened. So that's the update on the weather and what's happening here. Today we are making Susan DeFanti's cheese straws. Um, so the first thing is to cream the butter and the sharp cheese. While I'm doing that, let's have a roll call. Who's here? <laughs> All, right. All right, class, pay attention. Happy New Year, everybody. We have got. Uh, Auntie Judy, oh, I sat down too early because Mom's here. Hello, Mom. Hello, Mrs. H. Mwah. How are you, Mom? <laughs> what a lunatic. I know, uh, me. Uh, Gary Whitbread. Oh, hello, darling. I shouldn't, oh, I forgot the rule. I shouldn't be saying hello, but I can't help oh, myself. It's the first one of the year, so Keep go, going. go nuts. Keep going. Uh, the naughty but very lovely Lily Albright. Oh, hello, Lily. <laughs> Auntie Chris. Oh, hello, Auntie. How are you doing? Uh, Lucky. Oh, hello. How are you? <laughs> Happy New Year. Did you get your bamboo fiber? <laughs> uh, Angie Hostetler. Oh, hello, Angie. How are you? <laughs> Kelly Bow. Oh, hello, Kelly. Sister Kelly, that is. Yes. We should call. Yes. Uh, Chef. Fat grams. Oh, Chef. Thank you for Demand. your wonderful, thoughtful message. Um, I was just so touched. And yeah, I don't, I don't want to talk about it because I'll start uh, ruining my makeup. <laughs> Good old wall paint. I, I might ruin my makeup too. Well, Chef's driving home at the moment. Oh, So right. he's just going to listen till he gets home. Okay. So. Nice to have Sounds you on board, good. buddy. And yeah, thank you from me too, mate. Your messages did not go amiss. Uh, Mary Ann is here. Hello, Mary Ann. <laughs> Michael Rosenau. Hello, Michael. How are you? <laughs> Hope the weather's okay there. <laughs> uh, Susan, aka oh. Katie Dagos. Oh, hello, Susan. Danielle. The star of the show. Da oh. Danielle from Quebec, Canada, not. Uh, oh, not hello, Danielle. We're going to end up with three Dannys, because that's a new Danny. Uh, my South Australian sister, Michelle, is here. Michelle, where? Hello, Michelle. He says, glad you guys are okay with a lot going on in Queensland, XOXO. Uh, Patty Shanks. Hello, Patty. Charlotte Ferris. Danny Mizrahi. Hello, Charlotte. Hello, Danny. Frankie does not have uh, the bamboo fiber yet, still waiting. Uh, Jojo. Oh, hello, in Jojo. The house. Hello, Jojo. Jo jo uh, I think Jojo and then Mr. Jojo might be listening. Oh, what's well. up, Mr. Jojo? <laughs> yes. 
Glad to have another guy in the chat. And Mom says, uh, Chris, when you gave Mum a hug, it felt like I was giving you both a hug. Oh, yes. And Kelly says, me too. Right, good. Okay. Everybody's here, present, and accounted for. So, we are going to cream the butter. And I did not touch it. Don't fling anything at me this, this life. That was a special one. Do you know how long it took to get that meringue? Out of what little hair that I have. We took uh, like two hours to, <laughs> to fix everything back to normal. Including the kitchen. It did not take me long to fill out the police report. So you'll be hearing from my attorney. <laughs> Any comments, please go ahead. Because I'm... I've never creamed butter and cheese before. Do you know that? So this is like a completely brand new experience for me. This looks like it could be a challenge. It uh, could be. Uh, Lucky says, yay, yeah, food fight. <laughs> I don't think Lucky was here for the last live. Oh, the... Lucky, you must watch the last, it was the last live, wasn't it? Yeah. I think, was it New Year? New Year's Eve or something? Uh, no, no, it was before it Christmas. Was Christ yeah. Oh, because we couldn't have the live uh, before New yeah, Year's. We had uh, no, no power, no nothing. No internet, no civilization. Oh, okay, that you was. Oh, no, you didn't comment. So we didn't know. Oh, okay. All right, so yeah, it comes together really well like a, um, it looks like finely like grated butter. I'll show you. Show you my beaters. Yeah. And Susan, don't feel shy to jump in if I'm doing anything wrong. Yeah, come on, Susan. <laughs> uh, so. Kelly asked, is that shredded butter and cheese? Or shredded, shredded, shredded butter? Shredded cheese and butter. Kelly. That's not going to work. I'm going to have to clean my beaters. Michael says that food fight angered the keto gods, thus they sent the tornado. Oh, oh. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense actually, <laughs> but yeah, nah. Um, I'm sorry, by the way, people, if I hack up a lung in the background. I appear to have picked up a bug in amongst all this. Uh, Danny says, I think your butter wasn't soft enough. Ah, okay. Lackey says, probably Michael. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Susan says, my mama, my mama Neen, who's been dead almost 30 years, is a YouTube influencer. She's passed away when? 13 years ago. 30. Years ago. 30, wow. My mama Neen, who's been dead almost 30 years, is a YouTube influencer. How does that work? I don't know. I'm maybe, confused. Maybe, maybe Mama Neen developed, um, you know, this whole method. Uh, Mary Ann says, Mel, are you putting the ingredients in the description box after the live? Okay, Did I, I save it? Uh, please check again. Um, Did you save? I did save, and we didn't get kicked out this time, did we? So. No, so far I don't. Please don't jinx it. But the uh, the technical. Oh, this is Mama Neen's recipe. Oh, is it? Ah. Right. So we need two teaspoons of salt. I better, I better say what I've done so far. Right, so, so far I have mixed together a half a pound of butter, which is 226 grams, and then a pound of sharp shredded cheese. Then in went two teaspoons of salt. And then like, oh good, so it's just one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, which I don't think it's going to... And Susan said the same thing, that it doesn't make it spicy, it just gives it a bit of flavor. Okay, we'll do a teaspoon because I, I can actually handle a little bit of heat. I can handle a lot. So don't, don't you can go. handle a lot. Yeah, you're really good with that. So... <clears throat> 
Right. Michelle says, don't forget to like the vid, everyone. Only nine likes so far. Get liking. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you, Michelle. And Kelly says, my son and husband are monopolizing the kitchen, so I won't be cooking along. Upside is chili for dinner. Oh, chili. Mm. I would like an invitation to dinner, please, Kelly. <laughs> Let's, uh... Danny from Quebec. Yes. Says Trey had a uh, can't wait to or oh, very excited to see this recipe. Yeah, me too. I thought it was it looked really fun to do. Uh, Lucky says me too, Danny. And Danny Mizrahi says, What are we making today? We are making cheese straws. Did we actually say that we're making cheese straws? Um it's in the description box. Right. Um above the ingredients. There's another title just says this is the last door. Kelly says there's always an open invitation for you two. <laughs> Thank you. And then he says I was late. So that's why he didn't know what we're making. So something weird is going on. Did I mess up the weights? Yeah. Um, How did I get that wrong? I find myself saying that a lot, but how did I get so that So I'm off? just going to, because uh, I know that one and a half cups equates to 180 grams. It doesn't. It does? It doesn't. You've got to tightly pack it. I did. You d I don't think so, no. That's impossible then. Yeah, 180. And this one needs to be 180 as well. A little bit less. How did you go over with the chicken flour? Never mind. I didn't. Okay, so your numbers, your numbers are wrong. I've added 180 grams each of secret chicken and secret almond. And what do we do now? Do we just eat it? I think so. Are you asking me a cooking question? Yes, because uh, Susan put the instructions there. Okay, so. Great cheese. Then cream cheese and butter well. Add cayenne flour and salt. Cayenne flour. Cayenne. Pepper. Cayenne. Yeah. Comma, space, flour and salt. Roll to quarter inch thickness, cut in strips, force through cookie maker. Or force through cookie maker. Uh, actually, um, I did notice that the dough was quite, uh, not quite delicate, but a little bit delicate because um, when cutting the dough and then trying to put it on baking sheet, um, a couple of them broke. So I think my fix for that would be to add an extra tablespoon of gelatin right so i'm going to just do that now okay lackey says chris danny is asking for the recipe oh did i translate that wrong i thought it said i'm excited to see the recipe um anywho danny and lackey it's in the description box yeah susan says my mum and Ian would be astonished her recipe made it to us <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of having um, friends all over the world. We can share and, you know, the things that we love, other people will probably love it too. Uh, Susan says, I put gloves on and mix it with my hands easier than using a mixer. Right. And Lily says, I would mix with my hands as well. Well, then I'm going to do that because... That sounds like a plan. Yes. Michelle says, I love cheese straws. My mum used to make these when I was a kid. Now we're going to use Mel's CK flour to make some. Yes. Yes. Oh, Shirley Malar's arrived. Oh, hello, says, Shirley. Oh, no, I'm late. Just a little. Please don't let it happen again, Shirley. Good thing there's a replay. Let's make some space. Kelly says, hands are the best tools. Yeah, I agree, because you get a feel of how your dough is doing. Um, 
definitely need to stop clanging around. Okay. Why change the habit of a lifetime? What what is that supposed? No, now you've you have dug yourself a hole. Now, what are you supposed to mean? Explain because to us what you mean by that. What I mean is that even if you are not speaking, I know where you are because it is all. It's like a sonar, you know, like a radar that beeps and bounces back. There's always a noise coming from where you are. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, it's payback for keeping me awake because of your snoring. I didn't keep you awake. How do you know? Because I was awake. This is becoming very <laughs> confusing. I know I was awake because the dog landed on me at some ungodly hour. <sighs> yes, our dog has developed a brand new habit. Never, um, like we used to try and get him um, when he was little, uh, try and get him to come and sleep on the bed, you know, but he just wouldn't have it. He'd sit there for five minutes and then just go to his own spot. Um, and now he's jumping on the bed. He did it, what, how many times? Four times last night? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for what? Just to get off again? I don't, I don't know. It's, um, you can understand like when there's um, lightning or storm that he would be a little um, scared and clingy, you know, but there was nothing untoward happening at all. So. Uh, Lucky says, I like how she says we in inverted commas, LOL. What? And, and then says, Chris foot and mouth. Lily says, hands work well as a tool, except if you're four years old or a husband. Lily? Wow, just wake up and choose violence then. That's, that's, that's libel. That's awesome. How is that awesome? Because it's like, you know, supporting girl power. It's sexist. It's, it's not. It's, it's husbandist. Oh, you should be a fine one to talk. Michael says, dig further, Chris. Yep. Yep. Would you like a spade with that? Yep. The only time I uh, take my foot out of my mouth is to put the other one in. Danny says, here we go, another food fight. <laughs> oh, this would be, this would be good food, but I actually, I actually want to have cheese straws this time, so. Yeah, I'm hungry, so just, Michael agrees with me, yep, it's sexist, thank you, brother. Uh, Lily says it could be because of the tornado happened, so he might have been a bit freaked out since. That makes sense. It could, because he was pretty on edge. Yeah, he's only started doing it since... Oh, yeah. yeah. Anytime there's any noise now, there were a couple of really, like, massive thunderclaps when the tornado was happening that shook pictures and all kinds of stuff in the house. So mm. maybe anytime there's a noise now, he seems to get freaked. So that's why I say you, uh, you need to calm down the noise that you're making everywhere. I was... Okay, so the dog jumped on the bed because I was making a noise. How? When I was trying to sleep. I don't, you, maybe you manifested it in your sleep. You don't make much sense, my love. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, Kelly says we have been sleeping apart due to both of our snoring. Sad. That is sad, Kelly. Oh, actually, that is actually quite common. Um, I was, I was, I read a study and um, they were saying that um, it's quite common for, for husbands and wives, married couples, um, to <clears throat> opt to uh, sleep separately or, you know, some kind of other way where they can, um, you know, n not sleep in the traditional way, like on... Um, um, would you like a spade? I'm, I'm <laughs> digging, yeah, a hole digging myself a hole. Or would you like a bowl? Oh, yes, this is turning out. Well, Auntie Judy says that mixture sure looks dry. Can you add ice water like when you make pie crust? But look, but look, Auntie, look. It's coming together so nicely. I think you just have to, you know, have a little um, patience and just keep working that butter in. 
because it's looking good. Michael says, go Chris. And then he says, oh dear Chris. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I was I was I read a study once uh, where they say say that it's um, it's quite common for couples to sleep apart, and not because of marital problems or anything. They just um, need a peaceful sleep. That's it. Sleep is important, so do what you got to do. I mean, uh, if there's nothing wrong in the relationship, but you just can't sleep because of snoring, then yeah. Why not? It is what it is. So they can just do Why what not? you do and put a cold foot in the middle of the back. And that kind of wakes you up. Uh, and you okay. Because this this prob this lie wasn't thought out properly. So where would I be sleeping or am I that flexible that I can get my foot in line with... <sighs> yeah, okay. Yep. Explain how I'm able to do that. Put um, your fo my foot in your back. I'm taller than you, you're shorter than me, and then... Which makes you, it worse. When you correspond like the perpendicular angle and the trajectory of how you sleep, then it's quite easy to get a foot in my back. It doesn't make sense at all. Well, it happens. No, you're lying. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely doll, lovely doll, lovely doll. Yeah, that looks way better. Okay. Judy says, okay, thanks. Yeah, it's, I mean, I, I see what Auntie Judy's saying. It's just like I needed to show her close up so she could see it's working. So, Super Ron has arrived. Hello, Hello Ron, Dana. Happy New Year. The same Mel and Chris finally able to catch the live and hate everyone. That's lovely. I love this. It's massive. Food fight. <laughs> You see? <laughs> you see? This is why I say there's evil there that doesn't sleep. Uh, Kelly says thanks for the studious reassurance, Mel. And she's got love parts. Yeah. Really? I, oh, sorry. You go. Sorry. I, I say uh, do what works for you in life, you know. In the, it's, it's just such a shame. If some communities are so judgmental of, you know, individuals. <laughs> what did Lily say? Lily? Yes. Uh, me and Hobby sleep apart. He sleeps in the freezer and I sleep in the king size bed. Works for me. I also sleep in a freezer, Lily, because I, I don't get any blankets. Oh, okay. Ooh, no, no, no. Ooh, Hang on. So our freezer. In the last taco video, you saw that our freezer has got clear, <laughs> clear shelving, right? It's actually quite hard to remove given that in the bottom section there's drawers. So I would love to know how you fit into our freezer place. It was a metaphor. No, I, I <laughs> that was a metaphor. <laughs> I sleep in a freezer because you steal all the blankets. Now it's a metaphor. Oh, wow. Oh. Blanking, hogging, blanket hogging lunatic. I'm gonna use our quarter of a of an inch uh, measurements. Stick that on. Because um, that's what Susan used. Susan said, "Judy, I let the butter and cheese omelet." I let the butter and cheese omelet to room temperature before mixing. Yeah, I was was uh, I, the butter was at room temperature. It was, it did look firm, but it wasn't. It was quite pliable. So, like for now, I mean, that's lovely dough. Lovely dough, not even cracky at all. Okay, okay. Then he said it needed more muscle, so you should have asked me to finish it off. Well, that's, that's great to have now. <laughs> chef is home. Oh, yay. Now you can relax, Chef. Lily, Lily, Lily. It is just so saving some people. She says, or farting. LOL. <clears throat> Michael says, thank God, Chef, our bro is in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not in trouble. Well, actually, I am. I'm always in trouble. It's, it's the just, degree that varies. The depth that varies. It? Generally, make the. Right. Becky says, uh, Mel is working really hard to climb out of the hole she jumped into. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I do pretty good because Chris doesn't think he's. Um, his statements through. He just, you know, prattles off whatever How forms, you? whatever his mouth forms in the shape of, that's what he'll say. That's why I prattle now, do I? Oh, you ramble. Very easy to roll, soft dough. I'm liking this. It's so fun to make because I can I can see either little flecks of cheese and butter and so good. All right. So Michelle says I see nothing wrong with sleeping separately if it helps you get a better sleep. I prefer space to sleep. Yes. Says, LOL Babu. Uh, Chris just, it just keeps digging. <laughs> yes, just keep digging. <coughs> Kelly says, Lily, the farting is real and usually hilarious. Oh, Becky Nelson's alright. Oh, hello, Becky. Happy New Year. Hey, Becky. And she says, Oh, shucks, gonna have to watch the replay to catch up. But I pray this is a good sign for the new year. I will get to be here more. Yes. Yes. Becky, you did very well. You got yes. here before. The last three minutes, which... She's quite here early before. <laughs> I was trying to get that out with a straight face. Lily says, my husband farts in the key of C. <laughs> in the what? In the key of C. Oh, oh, I've never heard that. It's really awesome. Michelle says, oops, caps lock in last message, lol. Sorry, yeah, I wondered about that, Michelle. I thought either you were Are really you shouting? <laughs> like, you know, trying to make your point here, or you're just shouting for no apparent reason. All right, and I need to show what, what's happening here. My goodness me, what a... Can you make sure that I'm doing this right, please? Oh, now you want my help. That looks good. Gorgeous style. Gorgeous style. Oh, it already smells nice. How's yeah, that possible? I yeah, haven't even cooked anything. Yeah. Mm. Okay. 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 Uh, chef says, wow, Chris, my wife did that to me all the time. I wake up shivering. Yeah, I see. Thank you, Chef. I feel your pain, brother. I'm glad to have a kindred spirit. Kelly says, do you have a link for that rolling pin? I do. I do. Where is it? Where is the link? Share the it's in various videos, but... <laughs> well, how about at the end of the live, we put it in this video, in this live? Yes. We'll put the link down below. Yes. Sounds very good to me. And I want my pizza cutter. Sorry for the noise. Pizza cutter. Why are you saying sorry now for the noise? Uh, because uh, the clanging is actually, when you listen to it, um, it's, it, it's quite jarring. See, like I said, it's like a sonar. So, oh, there's Mel. Must be in the cutlery drawer. You're, you're flirting with me, aren't you? Yes, I am. Excuse me. Uh, Ruth, aka the Keto Mama, is here. Happy New Year, you, Ruth. A bit late. Hello, Chris and Mel. Happy New Year to you, and glad you are safe from the tornado. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ruth. Oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah. Just so, there's just some things in life you would like to forget. Yeah, I think we have a little Forget. bit of PTSD for I a while. I think the cleanup was major for us. 
Well, it's still going it, on. Everybody, we had to. We had not a stitch of. We have a freezer and two fridges. One spare in the garage, and then you know the one that you always see, and then a freezer. Everything's cleared up because the food was just going to go bad or was going bad already. Two wheelie bins full. Two wheelie bins. Two wheelie bins full. All my meal prepping's gone. Like the, <clears throat> I had frozen bread in there that, um, cause when I, like I make a lot of bread for myself, I had frozen meals in there. I had bread. I had, yeah. Anyway, no point crying about it. Uh, so Lily says, Chef, I should speak to your wife and show her freezer options. <laughs> And then Chef says, LOL Lily, we've been separated for five years. She'd probably like to put me in the freezer. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Susan says, my husband snores like a freight train, but I sleep like a rock, so it doesn't bother me. Nice. Kelly yep. says, I'm with Chris on the blurting and the rambling. <laughs> okay, I'm I just, sorry. I just, sorry, I just greased. A, a baking sheet or tray and um, I'm going to line it I the true test would be to see if these break and if the gelatin made any difference you know just to make the dough a bit stronger and if it doesn't huh, you're going to have to revise <laughs> <laughs> like he says, men only want the blanket when we women are asleep. That is not true. I, I don't even look. I'll, I'll fess this up. I don't even need the blanket because I'm just an inherently hot person. However, we share the bed, so we must share. The, it's oh, we share the bed, do we? In fairness, I don't share the blanket. Do you know the the width of a standard pillow? We have a king size bed. It's quite there's quite a bit of space between the pillows. Like there's about that much space. So I get the so he gets that spare space plus his pillow because he um, has what violent tendencies at night. I don't know. I don't know why. Why do you need so much room? What a load of bollocks! I uh, I do happen to be bigger than you, but I don't take up all that room. Excuse me. No, that's not the thing. Even when I was bigger than you, um, you still did the same thing. Just fighting for so, you know, fighting for survival here. Fighting for survival. <laughs> we we had um, we spent a couple of years sleeping apart, didn't we, Chris? We did. Yeah. Look, uh, Susan, it's a little stronger. It's not that much stronger, but it's a little stronger. So I'm just I am gonna twist these. And they're twisting. No, they're not twisting. They are now cracking. <laughs> so, okay, I won't twist them. Um, oh, this needs to move. One so people can see tiny piece doing. broke. Tiny piece broke off, so I do need to be gentler then. That's what that means. Uh, Lily says, ooh, that is a pretty dough. Yeah. I agree. Michael says, uh, thank goodness I stayed single. I can sleep in either freezer or bed. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, Michelle says, ha ha, no, just me messing up my message with caps lock, LOL. <laughs> oh, I think we need, we need these cheese straws to be able to twist, don't we? Uh, Lecky is asking what else can you use this dough for? I don't know yet because it, it's such a, a lovely dough, right? So I'm gonna say, you know cheese biscuits, mm -hmm. you know, the, uh, like if you if you roll okay. it out thin um, We don't have local foods biscuits anymore. What were they called? Biscuits, eh? 
They're like a um, like a a thin thin ish um, cracker that you can you know have a dip with or something like that. I'm gonna say that this will probably work for something like that. Hmm. Becky says, LMAO, no offense taken. Chris, I have come last three minutes more than once, I think. <laughs> oh. All I need is just one thing to be able to roast people and yes. it will last forever. But I, you, I love it when people are a good sport. Yes, that's the thing. You need to be sure that people are in the mood for your roasting, first of all. And yeah, you're not going to make upset anybody. If I ever do, it's not the intention. I'm going to chuck this in the oven now. My oven is preset, preheated to 350 Fahrenheit, as per Susan's instructions. Yeah, maybe I got that wrong as well. And then it goes for what, about 13 minutes? Okay. It goes for... It goes for... Just says bake very slowly at 350, do not let it brown. Um, yeah, it doesn't actually have a time on it. So, we'll start a stopwatch instead. Did you really leave me to my own devices? Oh, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I was perspiring, so I had to take care of that. But yeah, I think I'm just going to keep keep rolling. And then, you know, I'll have a, a whole bunch of cheese straws, but it's going to be pretty good to see how long this takes as well. If you had multiple trays, can you do multiple racks? Like I think so. I think so, but my, I see my oven temperatures dropped to 300 now. I didn't open the oven door for that long. I don't think it was quite at 350 though. Okay. Oh, we'll see. Oh, anyway, I shall take a seat. <laughs> uh, Susan says that looks beautiful. Thank you. Did I, I say Auntie Judy said that is a gorgeous dough? Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, Susan says I bought the rolling pin, saved me many recipes. Lily says that will be fun to make with the kids. You can use cookie cutters. Oh, yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. It looks quite solid, like quite... See, uh, that's, you know how we go off on these tangents. So that was the cheese strip. So let's see what else we can do with this lovely, it's definitely like Play-Doh. Oops. So. Ah. Losing my marbles as usual. That's a relative term. Losing. Losing. No, that means it's continuous. It doesn't mean... So if you lost it years ago, what does that mean? I'm continuing to lose them. How can you lose what you don't have anymore? I might have many marbles. What are you talking about? Not that you would... Uh, not, so that, not so that you would know. I do know that I have more marbles than you, though. Can't argue that point. <laughs> I didn't start with any. Uh, Kelly says, if I can buy and get you credit, I'd love to, as, as in the rolling pin. Oh, thank you. Even yes. though I told my Huan, 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 H-U-A-N, even though I told my Huan. Huan, that we already have everything, every kitchen thing we need. Oh, wow, well done. The next line she says husband, so it's not who and it's husband. Oh, okay. I just one. thought it might have been... Um, okay, if I can buy and get you credit, I'd love to, even though I told my husband that we already have every kitchen thing we need. Well, that that statement you, in itself... You never have uh, everything you need. From beginning to end, that statement is a lie. An absolute outright, outrageous lie. But how many times have you told me, if I can just get this and then nothing else, Nothing, I don't need anything else. Don't buy me anything else for a year. I don't think I've ever said that. Um, did you tie this with uh, Gorilla? Yeah, that, that's fine. No, that's broken. I, I just need 
to thin this out even thinner than like a quarter of an inch maybe let's go an eighth in the words of Steve Urkel did I do that? ah there we go let's fix it I it would have been so nice to uh, yeah that's a good let's have a look at this that's a good thin biscuit kind of cracker kind of thickness okay 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 and then we need cookie cutters mm -hmm. check. Susan says sorry chef says I could speak through a freight train a freight train is he tired Shane uh, some people can like, uh, oh, like okay. you can you speak through any kind of like I, I have trouble uh, falling asleep, I think. Well, once um, you're asleep, you sleep for the day. But once I sleep, I'm good. Susan says, remember to give a thumbs up. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Susan. Chef says, oh my gosh, that's too funny, Chris. I swear I wake up looking like a murdered chalk line almost every morning. What does he mean? Like, in one position, because you're... You've got no space in the bed. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So and that's how I wake up. Because no, that's how I wake up. No, right, you, right take on the up, edge. you take up two thirds of uh, the bed. Two thirds of the 5% of the bed that I have. I think that'll make a good cracker. Okay, let's <laughs> chuck it in. Oh. I don't think I can bake that because that's almost ready. Uh, that's been in for five minutes and 19 seconds. I think we should go longer. But uh, the instruction said uh, do not let it brown. I think. Oh. Do not let it brown? Do, do not, not let it brown. Oh no, it's not brown, so it's good. All right. Gosh, right. I'm making a big fat mess. It's okay. <laughs> right, keeps me employed. Yep. Uh, Kerry says, had to jump in the shower to wash off a face mask. Replayed that 10 minutes at double speed. Listening to Mel and Chris Bicker at double time. At double time is funny. They sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> now I just watch everybody play at double time. <laughs> when I play it back, I'm going to do that. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant, Kerry. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Michelle says, king size bed, nice. I'd want a king size too if I was ever to be in a relationship again. Oh, Michelle, we have had smaller beds and because um, I've, I slept on the couch for about two years. Two years? Yes. <laughs> I slept on the couch and our couch is really comfortable. Um, because I didn't have any space because we had a queen size. That bed was just a nightmare. No, it was you not giving me space I'm to wondering. even turn over. Long story not. short, Michelle, the ultimate is to have two super king beds side by side and then you just take away all I'm, the argument. I'm down with that. Have, have something the size of a tarpaulin for a, a, a duvet cover. Yeah, or you can just have individual, individual and sleep. A you're bed. still together, but you're apart. A bed. I like that idea. Even with that set up, you'd still find a way to kick me. No, I would just make sure you can't come to my side. Susan says I'm adding Johnson from now on. Yeah, it's it's a little bit, and I th and I think Susan, I'm thinking maybe we should even add because I only added one tablespoon. I'm thinking we should do maybe two tablespoons because. I want to be able to twist the tea straw so they look like the business, like regular. Um, and if you think that's too much gelatin and you're open to xanthan gum, then yeah, we could use xanthan gum as well. But that's a very nice. Oh, I love, I'm going to love these. And I need my crab dip right now. And the French you know what onion. Smelling like? Uh, oh. Like a cheesy scone. 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 Cheesy scone. 
You know those little, yeah. they're only about that thin, they've got like a scalloped edge like that. Yeah, those that scones. Like if you put say three or four of those on top of each other, um, those yeah. little soft cheese biscuits, that's what it smells like. Are they biscuits, scones, cakes? I don't know. They are. Crackers. Oh no, I think they're scones. You're talking about, yeah. yeah I think um, Americans call those biscuits, biscuits. Right. yes. But oh, they no. do, they do have scones as well. What's wrong? I'm about to get all kinds of confused here. The five letter K people are ganging up on me because... What's five letter K people? So we've got, I'm going to struggle to get this right. Kelly. Kelly and Kerry are next to each other in the comments. I need to make sure I get the right one at the right time. But Kelly has said Kerry and with a big LOL emoji. So she's laughing at Kerry's story about the Alvin and the chipmunks. I'm gonna cry with laughter. Why are you laughing at my disability? Because they're getting at you. Honestly. So Kelly said, oh, that's nice. Okay. So that was Kelly. And this is now Kerry. She says, Mel, that rolling pin doesn't seem to be in your Amazon shop. Uh, no, because I did a link. I did a link for it. Um, we, which video would it be in? Uh, you know which video it should be in? The chips. Chips. The keto chips. Keto chips. Two videos back, the keto chips. I'm pretty sure it's in there. I don't think it's in there because I didn't use a rolling pin. Okay, I'll put a link in the... Oh, did I already say that? Just yeah. give us... Please give us five minutes after <coughs> the live. I will I will go and get it. I know it is... It's probably in one of the live uh, description box boxes. Uh, but I'll, I'll get it. Yeah. That's uh, ten minutes in the other moment. Ten minutes? Yep. Ten minutes, twenty-seven to be exact. Oh, no, I did let them brown. Woo! I'm going to call it police. I better get gloves. Yeah, please don't burn yourself because <laughs> we know what happens when you burn yourself. I better get gloves. Oops. Susan says she's never used the dough for anything else other than this. Right. Uh, Lackey says, would it help to put it in the fridge? Would that help you twist them? I, d I don't think so because, I mean, look at those people. It's, it did go brown, but, but I love oh it. Oh my god, that I smells good. It looks the business. Yeah. Really nice. So beautiful. Um, hey, Michael, you're going to get in trouble. Michael says, is the oven on? <laughs> is the oven on? Okay, I think I need to let them cool. They're still a little bit soft. So I need to let them cool, I think. But I'm keen to now try these biscuits. So, not biscuits, crackers. Crackers, I think. Uh, Lily says, I'm a good sport, bring it on, Chris. I know Lily's a good sport, because I've roasted Lily, I don't know how many Oh, times. yes. And she's always funny with the comeback. Uh, Becky says, if they can't handle the heat, stay out of the kitchen, cry baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> <coughs> Kelly says, mm. excuse me, I really do apologize for the hacking in the background. Kelly says, open for roasting at all times, Chris. That's how we roll and show love uh, in or family, in our family. Yes. Yeah, yes. exactly. Uh, what's the saying? You throw your dirt where the love lies. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> I've, I've said this before, like, my best mates, I don't think I've called them by their name ever since I've known them. It's mm. always some derogatory or, you know, semi-abusive roasting comment. <laughs> That's how you show them the best friends. Yes. Uh, Susan says she bakes it for 13 minutes. 13. Okay. And we went for just on 11 by the time we took it out. Right. But then mine went brown, Susan. I think it's going to be okay, honestly, because it looks delicious. 
And I actually, I don't mind the golden colour. Janine Green has arrived. Hello, Janine, how are you? Do you know I nearly said that as Janine? Because she has a unique spelling to her name. And well, Janine says... Why would you say that? Because that's what it looks, that's how I read it. <clears throat> anyway, Janine There's says... There's no hope. I'm watching on my TV, <clears throat> but the four-year-old is demanding my phone. I'm here, though. But, hello, Janine. Hello, Janine. Lily says her husband bought a new stove for her for Christmas. Oh, she's going to pack him in the oven, I think. Change your scenery. <laughs> uh, Mom8 says, watch it, Chris, you are treading on thin ice. Yep. Always. My philosophy in life, Mom, is that if you're not living life on the edge, you are taking up just far too much room. Oh... I also want to give a shout out to Mom S, Cheryl Tomlinson. Um, you know, our regulars that can't make it at this time. Ella from Germany. Marzi Mars, who's still working on his re renovation, not yeah. reservations. <clears throat> and that distracted my train of thought. So I'm sorry if I missed your name. <laughs> yell out if you remember anybody else. Uh, Kerry says, Mel, could you twist them if you chilled the dough? So same thing that's done. You know what? Them. I think we should try. Let, let's see what happens if I if I try that. I've got no more. Um, what are you looking for? Um, well, I'm just trying to work out my process because I do want to chill this dough now because, I mean, it's worth it, worth it to check, right? Mm -hmm. So... Let's get this, these beautiful morsels out of the way. Uh, Jennifer Fine has arrived. Oh, hello Jen. Happy New Year. Hey Jen. Say hi everyone. Made it here. Nice. Oh. Michael says, I think Mel's marbles are under the freezer. Chris, go look. Mel, push him in. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we've done a little bit of crackers. Let's put that in the oven. Okay, um, let's try these for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay. okay, and now we need to roll out more sticks. <gasps> They're so warm. <laughs> uh, thank you. Nice, eh? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cheesy. And I can't taste the cayenne pepper. Can you? No, at all. At all. Um, they're cheesy, but it's that doughy, it's got a cheesy doughy kind mm. of. Mm. Ooh. They're nice. I like that. And I love, I love that, that tangy, cheesy, Mmm. Uh, Danny Mizrahi says, try cooking that entire piece of dough in a deep fry. Yum. Mmm. Yeah, that'll be something else. We don't have a deep fry. No, we don't have a deep fry, but I mean, you can do it in a pot. Why not? Uh, Kerry, Kerry says, I'm still on double time. Mel's giggle is totally a chipmunk at this speed. <laughs> uh, no. Michelle says, OMG, two years on a sofa. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Chris, I like that idea of the two tin beds and a top size doona. Have a lot. <laughs> Terry's back to normal time now, normal speed, so you no longer sound like a chipmunk. <laughs> and she also says, a lot of Germans have separate mattresses and bedding, but they are in the same bed frame. Right. See? There you go. Well, we also had that, remember, with those stupid... <laughs> no, only the base was uh, separate. But those those things that, if you push the wrong button, you got flung into the stratosphere. Oh, oh gosh. Bam below. Bam below beds. 
had folded me up like a sandwich one night. I had no idea what was going on. Michelle says, OMG, scones, they would be awesome with the CK power. They would, actually. They would. They would. Susan says, if we didn't have a king-sized bed, there wouldn't be room for either of us. Our dog holds most of the bed. <laughs> yeah, I wish my dog would um, come, not because he's scared, but because he just wants to. The problem with him when he gets on there is that he starts panting. Yes. And you rock from side to side like you're in a big lumpy cam V8 or something. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to test. I think I should freeze the dough uh, for like five minutes just to speed it up so we can see. Because that's five minutes is like um, refrigerating it for half an hour for 30 minutes. So, yeah, in the freezer this goes. We've got plenty of room in the freezer. <laughs> I, oh God, they're doing it again. I'm going to have to rename one of these ladies shortly. Kerry says to Kelly, I will type up that recipe for you soon. Okay. And Susan says I bake for 13 minutes at 350. Kelly says rolling pin can be posted later, no rush. And Deb says, instead of this being called Cook with Mel, it should be Mel's comedy show. LOL, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah, everybody hates Chris. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that's like it. I like that. They're, they're doing it again. Ke oh, Ke yeah. Kelly says, thank you so much, Kerry. I need to check back with the Facebook group. This is a skinny one. And look at that. See, I'm kind. Would you like a cheese? I would, thank you. Straw. I need mm. to shut me up for five minutes. Mm. Ah, Michael says he asked about the oven as there's no light on. Light's broken. It didn't come on since we got power. So we've got to get someone. Someone's come. coming out anyway to replace the seal. When? Did they say when? Sometime between now and the turn of the next millennium. Mm. Janine said, my grandson Brylan said, Mel didn't say hi to me. Uh, uh, hi, hi Brylan. How dare you? I know, so rude. I reckon. Poor little guy. Hey Brylan. Oh. And Charlotte, are you still here? How Hello. are you Brylan? Charlotte Ferris. Lily says, I don't think the browning would take away from the taste at all. Um, mm -hmm. No, it definitely mm -hmm. doesn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Definitely need French, like a, a dip. They're nice on their own though. But, need to dip. <laughs> okay. Susan says, eating cheese straws while I watch this. Much like us, eating cheese straws while we, while we film this. Uh, Michelle says, Mel and Chris, you should buy a factory and start mass producing your CK flour, cooked flour and bread mixes. That would be awesome and better than what's out there already. Yes, oh, about, about that Michelle. Um, I'm very concerned that you can taste the baking powder in the bread. Now, th there's three ladies um, who say they can taste the, uh, the baking powder in the CK almond flour. Uh, obviously, if I could taste it, I would have changed the recipe, but I, I sincerely can't taste the baking powder. And I think... If there's three ladies, then there's probably 30 people who can taste the baking powder because not everybody will say something. So I need to go back to the drawing board on that and make sure that it tastes good for everybody. Because then you get 
really nice bread that you can eat and it's low carb or like really super low carb per slice. So good. How's our time? We I think those are ready because they're skinnier. Two minutes, 26 left. They're quite, I rolled them quite skinny, so I'm gonna take them. Ay, ay, ay. Cool. Uh, Chef says Little Caesar's breadsticks. Actually, that's what they reminded me of. That's good. Mm. They smell nice. Mm. Mm. I'm a big fan of this though. Susan says chef these are better. <laughs> yes. Michael says maybe need a bigger bed for Loki. Like they hold their shape right but when you bite in them they're really soft and cheesy. Mmm. Winner winner chicken dinner. Yeah, uh, very good. Uh, Lucky says the bed isn't big enough for the two of you and you want to add a dog to the mix. Mel, you need to go back on the couch. No, the dog it's can go looking, on the couch. I think you should have it two years on the couch and me and the dog can get some peace. Okay, good chat. Uh, Charlotte is still here. Oh. I was going to ask um, about her boy and how did he like how did he like his um, his tacos? Oh no, it doesn't do it. it just breaks. Let's just try and be more gentle. <coughs> Don't hit it like a Mack truck. No, because now it's not flexible. So I'm trying to twist it, and it's cracking. Yeah. So I think I think the only way we're gonna achieve getting that twist is with a strong bind, a stronger binding kind of situation. Like the you know I was talking about the gelatin. Hmm. But before I post or make a video of Susan's lovely cheese straws, I think I will I will play with it, the dough and uh, fix it. <laughs> uh, Michelle Lukowski has arrived and says, sorry I'm super late. Hello and welcome back. I missed you both. Hello Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Happy New Year. <laughs> uh, Lackey says, couldn't hear as you tested them. Are they crunchy? Susan says, yes, they're crunchy. I mean, you're not going to hear the crunch, uh, crunch as I bite into it, but you can hear it in your head if, as you bite, if that makes sense. So it's a soft, for me, it's a soft crunch, but definitely a crunch. I agree with Susan, like with mine, it's the same. Mm. As you're chewing, you get that crunch. Stop the press. The lovely Danielle Graves has arrived. Oh god, I was so worried. My sister from another mister. Better late than never. Ha ha. Hi everyone. Hey Danny. Danny, are you alright? Please send me a text. Why has she been in my age? Never ever been late. Not once ever. First time. So I was worried. Right. So, that's, that's all good. Michael says, welcome Danny, where's Diesel? Auntie Judy says, hi Danielle. Uh, Mom H says, hi Brylan. <laughs> Brylan. Nancy oh, Griffith has arrived. I'm oh, at work okay. and just got here, but it's nice to see you if just with a few minutes left. Yes. Well, hey, uh, Nancy. And we are, we are going to end on that note, but let's say, uh, these are still warm, right? So they're soft when they're warm <coughs> and they firm up when they're cold. That's what, that's what we have. It's pointless breaking it because it's just going to be soft. Yeah. Stay tuned. 
this recipe <laughs> recipe will be available and perfected <laughs> sometime soon. Did you say the recipe? Recipe. <laughs> All right, we'll finish up the last few comments. Yes. Uh, Lecky says, looks like the butter hardens again. Thanks for trying now. Yeah, no worries. It's, it's worth checking, yeah. I agree. Charlotte said he doesn't care about the taco shells, but loved the Cool Ranch Doritos. They were good. Uh -huh. I was busy putting joint compound on the ceiling, so he didn't get the second thin batch. He will get them next week. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you. That he says, when I hear a crunch in my head, that's the marbles rolling out. <laughs> Michelle says, don't taste it in the flour, but when I made the bread, as we have to add baking powder, I don't taste baking powder in the cookies I make. The, that bread takes a lot of baking powder to get that high rise. You'll see that with when Maria reduced the baking powder because she was tasting it, so she reduced the baking powder and then her bread didn't rise as much so I think don't reduce the baking powder increase the sweetener because the sweetener is not there to sweeten the bread right it's to balance that baking powder um, <coughs> taste and obviously for me one tablespoon of sweetener was enough but I think we have to double it yeah anyway You've read my comments, so. <laughs> Michelle says, I don't taste it. That should be in the last comment. Okay, so she doesn't taste it. And yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, Danielle says, roads are snotty, but yes, I'm parked in Ohio safe. Nancy Griffith says, looks yummers. Right. Mom H Thank is you. out of here. Uh, Gail, Gail, I'm sorry. Hello, I'm Gail. I'm you your last name. If you, Gail says, hi guys, I've been following you for over a year. Oh. If you've caught any of their lives, you know that I just destroy everybody's name. So we'll try this. Thank Gail, you, Gail. Oalette. Oalette. Thank you. Anyway, Gail says, any suggestions on other recipes to use the CK chicken flour that covers the flavor and smell? Other recipes aside from... A what? Like, you, do you mean aside from this recipe? Um, I'm going to say savory recipes. Um, keep the chicken, the CK chicken flour for those. Um, sometimes you can mask the taste in baking, like baking sweet stuff. I've had a lot of success with chocolate cookies, but Sometimes when um, I'm baking an actual cake, I can taste that chicken. So it really does uh, depend on how you process your uh, chicken flour powder. Um, and also it depends on your taste buds. So what people do is um, they up the vanilla extract and add extra sweetener to mask the taste. And like, uh, but cocoa, I know cocoa powder does a very good job, um, but I am more inclined to keep the CK chicken flour for savory things. Things like um, <coughs> um, tacos, you know, for example, or the keto chips um, work really well. I think I only used um, a CK chicken flour in the keto chips video, which was, it's the second latest of our videos. Hope that helps. <laughs> uh, Deb says, thanks for sharing. It's been fun and it's been fun, a lot of baking. Oh, thank you, Deb. Uh, Susan says, so excited to use my grandma's recipe. So many memories, love to you all. Ah. Uh -huh. Thank you, Susan. The, we all thank you for this recipe because I'm sure more than one of us will be making these cheese straws. Uh, Michelle says, I'll try using more sweetener in its batch. Lily says, what about using some seltzer water to help the rice? Mm -hmm. I'm using lupin and almond blend and having loads of luck. Wow, that's nice. <clears throat> And Danny says, almond extract covers the smell, taste completely. Mm. And freeze-dried chicken breast is lowest chicken taste. Freeze-dried chicken breast. Right, 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 right. 
I keep forgetting that tip, Jenny. Thank you for keep reminding us. Almond extract. Mm -hmm. uh, Janine says, FYI, one of my grandkids signed me up on YouTube, hence the odd spelling. My name is actually spelt Janine, J E A N N E A N. So like Jean Neen. Oh, right. Okay. okay. <coughs> Danny says, what are you going to do with all that leftover cheese dough? I'm going to actually make... Make more things? Yes, mm -hmm. I'm going to do a, a, a combination of cheese straws cheese straws and these because I'm, I love crackers. I mean, and I think, look, if I roll this um, out thin and make them smaller, they're going to look like, you know those... What's those small crackers? Salty, not salty cracks. Snack, uh, snacks. Snacks. Snacks um, crackers. That's what they look like to me. Mm. Michelle mm. says, can we use the CK almond flour blend for the chips or just the chip flour? You can use the CK almond flour for this recipe. Um, so what, there's two, it has two tablespoons more of moisture. So I actually should just try that out. It shouldn't make any difference because we haven't added any like liquid things. Your liquid is your cheese and your butter, right? So I think it's going to be fine. And feel free to halve and quarter the recipe. This does make a lot. And I know a lot of us are doing keto all by ourselves. So I think it's easy just to uh, divide it into four. Uh, Gail says, thank you. I was afraid to use it in sweet. Try it in buns and my brother and I did not like it at all. Too overpowering. <clears throat> Same thing that I find. Okay. Yep. And yes, Chris, it is French, but most people pronounce Olette. Only it. Okay. Thank you, Gail. Nice. Uh, Lucky says, Good night, everyone. Mel, keep you posted on the elusive bandwidth flower. Becky. Just Becky, not Becky Nelson. Oh, Becky. Becky's here. Hi, Mel and everybody. How are you all doing? Happy New Year. Sorry, mm -hmm. I am late. And what is Mel making? Cheese straws. And oh. biscuits. But my my bitten biscuit. <laughs> oh, cr uh, crackers. <laughs> they look like snacks, crackers to me. Anyway, on that note, we will sign out <laughs> and we will see you in the next one. Um, and please watch our videos coming up this week. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>